Hello and welcome to another episode of my Facts and Glitches series, where I continue to showcase some more of what I've learned about GTA 5 in my over 9,500 hours of speedrunning the game and from my awesome viewers. <laughs> While on a bike, if you move slightly forward and then hold back and press handbrake, your character will freak out. A little known fact is that the exhaust of your vehicle dictates how deep in water it can go. So vehicles with high exhaust, like the Joe Build Hauler, can actually drive around quite far away from the shore. If even a small bit of the water gets in the exhaust, the vehicle will stop. The best place to see this in action is actually the Vespucci canals. While Franklin's mother and father do not appear in the game, we do learn of them in the more personal hangouts. What was your dad like? Man, I never knew him, but... From what I heard, he was a cool dude. Really? Nah, man, that's just what I say to everybody, homie. I heard he was an asshole who hit my mom's and then ran away when she was pregnant. Fuck him. I guess it was kind of tough, dog. you know. I, I grew up in Los Santos. I never had a dad growing up. Older guys, they always freaked me out. I got raised by cats on the street, man. Some good, some bad. But turns out none of them knew shit about nothing. I seen people smoking, dog. My mom smoked. That shit ain't for me. You need an older female influence in your life. Yeah, sure, I agree. Ever since my mom chose to pipe over her baby, man, I've been lacking a feminine role model. Your mom left? Wasn't left for long before they found her dead. I mean, my parents were fucking idiots. Threw everything away. But my grandma was real cool, dawg. She left me the house. Weirdly enough, when switching between barefoot and slippers with Michael, you can visibly see that the game increases his leg length instead of making him shorter. The slowdown while doing a stun jump will only end when all of your wheels hit the ground. This means you can hypothetically carry it forever using a bike and doing a wheelie. The hangouts between Franklin and Trevor reveal Trevor's true feelings towards Michael and Brad and why he forgave Michael. Why didn't you, you know, kill Mikey? I don't know. I thought a lot about it. I wanted to. <laughs> oh, I really did. But he's got kids and I don't quite know. I suppose it was a long time ago and I suppose we had some fun here and I suppose I made my mind up. That he's a dick, but the people against us were worse, so I killed the bigger dicks. And Michael lucked out. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, he's still a dick, but I kind of love him for it. I love how much he hates himself. It makes me feel all is right with the world. If I'm completely honest with you, Brad was a bit of a dick. The dude who got killed? Yeah, yeah I mean, would I have done it one day? Maybe. Probably. What? Probably likely. Wouldn't have done it in such an underhanded fashion, and the authorities wouldn't have been involved, but yeah, bit of a dick. So all this was over a guy neither of you really liked? Well, the, the, the principle was the thing, and if I'm anything, I'm a man of principles. Hey, I'm happy you got over your principles, and thank the universe Brad was a dick. It is possible to call someone for a booty call and pick up a prostitute at the same time. Clear your schedule. I'm horny. Hey, baby. When you are with your booty call, it is necessary to get out of your vehicle and get back in in order to whistle for the prostitute. Get in, gorgeous. Let's party. Let's go someplace where nobody can record us. You know, I think you can make me come. Unfortunately, you can't engage in a three-way. Your booty call will sit watching until you are done, at which point they will take their rightful seat at the front. What else are you wow. up for? You're Hell. making Uncle T very happy. 
On the mission monkey business, there is a scientist who will only open a door once his colleague slowly walks into the room and is threatened. This obviously isn't great for speedrunners. While it's quite easy to use a sniper rifle to shoot this scientist through the wall, he is immune to damage. But it was recently found that you can stealth sprint up to the wall, which enables you to fire one shot through into the scientist, which surprisingly results in the door opening and skipping the weights. Come on, door, now! The locking mechanism is triggered from the inside. After the cutscene, the game will act as if we waited for the scientist anyway, and thus he'll still be waiting. Put the lab right under Townley. Damn it! We need to get the nerve agent into a refrigeration unit. During some of the hangouts, Michael and Amanda reveal how they mess. I met Amanda in a CD bar. She was smoking hot, and she liked me. I can't blame her. I was a Rocco Macho Foxo stud back in the day, and I had money in my pocket. Drunk again, my darling. Like the night wind back. Fucking A. I liked your friend. Trevor? No, the other guy. But then you came on so strong. All that charm, all that talk, and now look at us. Two kids, a million lies, and a near divorce later. I love you. If I had to marry a lying cheating, thieving killer, I'm just glad it was you. And if I had to marry a drunken stripper, baby, I'm glad it was you. I swear to God I am. You know, my mother was right about you. When she wasn't putting her daughters on stage at the strip joint, she was right about everything. That's really unkind, even by your standards. I'm sorry. For a manipulative pimp, she was a true prophet. On the mission card Libre, you are tasked with shooting down a plane for Martin Madrazo. While the game leads you to believe that you are firing this big gun from the van, taking notice of the white bricks at the bottom of your screen shows that this cannot be so. Using mods, you can find that Michael is actually on the observatory, far distant from the actual placement of the gun while he fires. Gotta shoot. He of course would teleport back into the van after he has finished shooting down the plane. Under normal circumstances, it is not possible to pick up cars with forklifts. However, if you first pick up a pallet with the forklift, you can then lift up any vehicle you can get yourself under. While we never get to see him in game, the hangouts reveal some information about Michael's father. I grew up in a trailer park, man. There, I'm gonna tell you, you see some crazy shit. Your dad drank and hit you. My dad skipped town, or got hit by a train, or joined the Navy, or something. I don't know, the story's changed so many times, I lost track. For real? Yeah, that's why I wanted a normal family. And also why I turned out to be such an angry asshole. On the mission shop, Lamar and Franklin attempt to kidnap D and ransom him for $40,000. This goes awry when Franklin notes that Lamar making a phone call means that the police can now track them. If you don't release D, you get a two-star wanted level, and even if you escape the police and lose it, the wanted level will constantly be reapplied, which represents that the police will continually track Lamar's phone to find your most recent location. And nigga, give me that damn phone. What the fuck? Fuck you! I'll be seeing y'all soon! The only reason you've been seeing shit cause we went easy on your ass. In this tunnel on the Great Ocean Highway, there are some vents that will only explode if shot by a minigun. Some of the hangouts reveal the insanity of Trevor's upbringing. Listen! I grew up in five states, two countries, 14 different homes, eight fathers, three care homes, two correctional facilities, one beautiful, damaged flower of a mother. I've served time, my country, your country, and myself. I've committed every mortal sin. I've loved, hated, and searched for meaning. And do you find me saying things were tough, do you? Crazy dude, I bet you were born fully formed with like sharp teeth and a pointy little heart on. I was a child. I had a mother. She left me too. <laughs> Shit, can you blame her? She came back. She left again. She came back. She left again. Wow. She must really like hurting you. Lamar, man. Cut this shit out. It's tough, man. Tough. Don't say anything about my mom. All right, all right, homie, chill, just chill out. 
My father, my actual father. The one I think was my father. He was, he was not a nice man. It's incredible I turned out as well as I did. Incredible? My mother was very complicated. It's very complicated. She, well, I had a very complicated upbringing. Extremely complicated. In many ways, I was deprived of some pretty basic things, but I don't complain. I should have been an artist. I nearly was. If I'd stayed at school, I would have been. At this roundabout in the Grand Sierra Desert, if you spook a driver while standing in the entryway, they will be unable to leave. You can of course then free them by moving out of the way of the entryway. On surveying the score, you need to hover above a hole so that Lester can take some footage of the underground area. If it's raining, it will reveal that the rain considers the hole to still be closed. After blowing up the O'Neill's farm on Crystal Maze, driving a car into this particular corner of the home causes you to permanently be on fire and you'll repeatedly fall through your vehicle. While you can still drive around during this, if you stop, you will lose all control of your character and Trevor will run around continuously on fire until he dies. Installing a non-stock roof mod to a panto and then scrolling down fast will give you a glitched roofless option. This is only cosmetic, meaning it still has a hitbox, but this is the only example of this I am aware of. If you look closely at the lights on an ambulance as they toggle on and off, you can notice that the active light is slightly misaligned and potentially bigger than it should be. The glass on the side and back of tractors can only be broken from one side. It is possible to get in and ride the boats being carried on trailers by NPCs. They will of course have no way to remove you, so you can go on a joyride as the driver tries in vain to escape you. On specifically holes 7 and 8 at the golf course, if you hit your ball too close to a water hazard, your opponents can spawn in the water. Clown. Ugh, I better not be waiting for a piece of shit shot from you. Ah, fuck this shit. It is possible to be driven around by Michael's family should you see them about to get into a vehicle. Asshole. So that's it for this episode, thank you for watching. If you think you would have anything of interest for this series, feel free to add it to my Discord. I hope you're all doing well.